Can't believe we all fucking died. Everybody died. Everyone but Sook died. Sook. <laughs> He's so tiny. He's a little scooter. <laughs> Look at how small it is. Beep beep. Beep beep. Oh, hey, Sook. Hi, welcome. Wait, are you in VR now? You are in VR. Were you always in VR? Yeah, you were. Okay. I'm yeah. Just, listen, I'm I'm losing it right now. Uh, I I broke the. Did you just break the? <laughs> we're going into the sun forward. <laughs> you just fucking broke the ship. <laughs> what the fuck is it? I gotta go. <laughs> I can't believe I'm fucking dead. Oh god, yep, I'm especially dead now. Goodbye, world. And like that, I have died. It has ended. I will miss this world. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm alive. Hello. No, I can't. <laughs> You're a big boy. As you can see, Chad Andis is very lewd. He's no, all about the ERP. Look at him. He's just super on the aggressive right now. Send help. It's over. ERP five minutes. All right, we'll be back in five minutes, chat. <laughs> Hold on, let me just please stand by. Uh, where's the doer stand by? So we at least have that. Uh, I was lit. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, that's not it. Here we go. Uh, uh, please stand by, chat. We'll be right back. Five hundred fifty subs for Shy plus Andy's earpiece tree. <laughs> All right, we're on. Please stand by for a moment. Come here, Andy's. Hello. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's the <laughs> Don't worry, let's run away. Come here. No. Re Resuming stream. Ooh. Resuming stream. No more. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> Come back here! Flee! <laughs> Cheyenne is in Sook. The erotic fanfic is coming true. Oh my <laughs> God. Cheering. <laughs> I don't think that's how you run. That's fine. I, I don't know. think that's how you leg. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's okay. <laughs> oh, hello. Fuck. Uh, there. No, just. Bleh. There. We'll leave you right there. It's fine now. I can't see. I can't see it, so I'll survive. That fan fiction. Okay, okay, let me. Uh, can't see it, but it's okay. <laughs> Jared, Jared cracks fingers and dips quill into inkwell. <laughs> 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 all right what time is it well thanks to all your erp it looks like it's time to end the vr chat for now or even am i my point of view is here <laughs> i'm taking a, we, we need a we need a we need to do a count who's currently the highest donor that's gonna be our the real question right now let's take off the full body so hold on let's do that right here Right here, so you can see my just body fly away. I know how to escape, Andis. I'll just go ahead and woof. <laughs> I mean, you're still here. No, that's fine. I'm gone. I disappeared. No, you're, you're I, still van here. I vanished into thin air. <laughs> that's not where I am. <laughs> I can see you. Fine, I'll just... oh, let me just throw my foot over there real quick. There we go. Where's the other one? <laughs> here we go. Here's the other foot. Put this foot in your feet. Just the other foot. <laughs> Having a bit of an out-of-body experience. Don't worry about it, everybody. It's fine.
And oh, oh God, where am I? Ah! Now it'll be illegal if Andis tries anything right now. <laughs> Jokes on you. What, you gonna try to become small too? Got it. Going back to being big. Suck so, your little kitty. Pet, pet, pet. I mute myself in game. Where's my chair? Here's my chair. Blech. See, Andis just doesn't want me to play Beat Saber because he wants the ERP after stream. That's the real reason. <laughs> Can't even deny it. Because you always break your arms. It's fine. I'll be fine. Ooh. I gotta go. The oh, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. And now we're back where we started, chat. Hello. Let me head pat you. Head pat myself. Yeah. Head pat Anders through the mirror. Hold on. Can I reach you? I think I can. Pet, 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 pet. I think I'm reaching you. Yeah, I am. For now, we are done. I need to check my stat. Listen, as much as I'm okay with looking down and just boof, you need to calm down. <laughs> Relax, Mr. Relax. <laughs> what? Oh my god, that's adorable, but also, hold on. <laughs> oh my god, Zook. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm not sure we should allow this kind of cuteness going on right now. <laughs> In the meanwhile, we'll look at this itty bitty suit here. Look at this. Suit's being the embodiment of adorable right now. Is that? <laughs> He's not happy about this. Let me go ahead and. Swap over to the story time. Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh my god. <laughs> the whole book. Uh, the last thing that you know, <laughs> the last thing you want for your ASMR session. <laughs> Would that just be me what you get? <laughs> All right, well, well, while you're messy decides, I'll be right back. Gonna swap mics and audio and stuff. Okay, here we go. Um, yes, you should be able to hear me. Sadly, I'm not the highest quality with this mic, but it should work. Should, should definitely. <laughs> Hello. It should definitely work. Rain and shine. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh boy. How long is this? I'm hoping it's not too long. Okay, it's not. It doesn't seem to be too, too long. It's, it is a bit long, but not super long. Oh my fucking god. What is this? Is this a... It's a fanfic of Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> Actually, what is the... There should be a rating. Fiction K. Okay, so it's it's kid-friendly. Got it. It's not... It's not gonna kill me, I guess. <laughs> uh, this is like... God, I can like feel my anxiety kicking up. Wow. Which is actually <laughs> quite annoying. <laughs> let me... Wait, wait. Let me get comfy. Alright, I need to... I need to hide chat. I can't look at chat if I'm gonna fucking do this. If I do this, I need to like not look at all otherwise I'm gonna literally die one second hold on I need like I need to emotionally prep myself real quick give me a second here I need to get into it one moment <clears throat> Marco woke slowly his head feeling like it was stuffed with cotton throat itching like it was lined with sandpaper muscles achy and sluggish he knew right then he was sick and this being nearly summer he could guess why, too. 
<lacht> Sorry, das ist der Film so. <clears throat> a week ago, as angry as he was with himself to say it, he might have taken advantage of the situation, taken the slightest bit of pleasure in a certain princess's guilt. But things were different now. Sure, Star was a little crazy. Sure, her constant mishaps with her wand could get on his nerves. But she was also sweet and kind and marco's thoughts came to a screeching halt where had that come from fever must be making him delusional yeah that was it in any case though he didn't want star feeling guilty the fact that he had spent half that day under his own personal rain cloud getting soaked to the bone wasn't her fault not really today was a saturday he reminded himself that meant no school but this was both a blessing and a curse, as it meant Star would be home all day, around him all day, wanting to walk the puppies or chase monsters or go dimension hopping, the mere thought made him feel bone tired. Well, if he was to have even a chance of keeping this a secret, he was going to have to get up, lest Star get suspicious. With a groan, he pushed himself to his feet and immediately began shivering without his warm blankets. Wow. Pulling on a rope, Marco slowly shuffled toward the kitchen. Buenos dias, Marco. <laughs> Star gave her usual <laughs> cheerful greeting, giggling at her own joke. Marco only managed to summon a weak slime, but if there was one thing Star had learned so far, it was that Marco was not a morning person, so she didn't suspect anything. Who just donated? Okay. <laughs> However, it was only after he flopped into a chair next to her at the table that Marco realized the mere thought of food made his stomach, st his stomach twist sickeningly. Marco's mother laughed with her house guest as she placed a heaping plate of pancakes in front of him. That was another thing. His mother always cooked huge breakfasts on Saturdays. Marco's stomach churned again. He tried to eat. He really did. Pancakes were one of his favorite foods, after all. So if he didn't, both Star and his mother were sure to get suspicious. He had only taken a few bites when he had to run for the bathroom. Having emptied the meager contents of his stomach, Marco was content to lie on the bathroom floor until there was a knock on the door. He had somehow managed to pull shut. Marco, Star's voice was surprisingly soft, as if she could sense that any loud noise would make the pounding behind his eyes worse. Are you okay? The voice that emerged from his throat was definitely not the fine he meant to be. He meant it to be. Without another word, Star pulled the door open and took in the scene with a gasp. Marco! The princess immediately slapped a hand over her mouth when her friend winced at the noise. Instead, she fell to her knees beside him, helping him sit up and scanning him as if searching for some injury. When she found none, she demanded, though in a quieter voice, What's wrong? What happened? Marco gave a weak laugh, though it made his throat sting. Nothing, Star. It's just a cold or something. The princess's face scrunched up. You're lying on the bathroom floor because you're cold? Marco couldn't help but laugh again. No, no, though I am cold, he added, drawing his knees to his chest and wrapping his arms around them. Haven't you ever had a cold? Star looked confused. Been sick? She seemed to think about it. Well, one time I did get stung by a poisonous puffle bug. Mother said I was delirious for days. The princess continued to grin, as if this were the most common, unimportant thing in the world. Now it was Marco's turn to look confused, and a bit frightened. Well, he said slowly, trying to process the statement and clear his fuzzy oh, head. I'm not no! <laughs> <laughs> Fire, 
で。<laughs> bye bye, Tanks. Now is not the time for the <laughs> rain. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Johnny, in 30, a party of 30. Welcome, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> you kind of caught me in the middle of a story time. <laughs> God, me in the middle of an ASMR story time. We're gonna have to go. Uh, I'm, I'm just I'm gonna ignore the chat. I can't look at this. <sighs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> <laughs> Damn it! <clears throat> a cold is a sickness people sometimes get on Earth. Star got to her feet and extended a hand to her friend as she asked, What's it like when you get a cold? Marco sighed and took her offered hand. He was already used to Star's nearly endless stream of questions, but he wasn't so sure he was up to answering them right now. You sneeze, you cough, you throw up, you're hot, you're cold, and everything hurts. Your head, your throat, and every other muscle in your body. There was an irritated edge to his rapid summation that Marco hadn't really intended. Star's smile had dimmed all throughout his speech until it was replaced with a deep frown. Marco could have slapped himself. What had happened to trying to keep her from knowing all this and feeling guilty? He might as well add, and oh, you can catch a cold from being too wet or cold, say from, oh, I don't know, having your own personal rain cloud dump on, <laughs> rain cloud dump on you all the day. Fortunately, he managed to keep his mouth soundly shut. Star was the one to break the silence. Isn't there a cure? He sighed again. Nope, just rest in fluids. At that, Star's eyes flared with determination. Then, what are we standing around here for? You should be in bed. Oops, sorry, she added quietly when Marco winced. The, half, the princess half-dragged, half-walked her friend to his room. She had managed to fix it only a, af, after only a couple of tries, and made sure he lay down and pulled the covers up. She gave a nod and muttered to herself, Rest in fluids. In an instant, she had dashed from the room. Moments later, she returned, bearing a whole pitcher of water. Mrs. Diaz was at her heels, bringing a glass, a thermometer, and some medicine. With one foot, she also pushed the trash bin that sat beside his desk to his bedside, just in case. Marco, she scolded lightly, smoothing a hand over his hair as she took his temperature. Why didn't you tell me you weren't feeling well? Mom, Marco protested the attention in a slightly slurred voice, having a thermometer in his mouth. He was suddenly painfully aware of Star's presence in the room. Soon, Mrs. Diaz removed the thermometer, tisked at what she saw, and helped her son sit up to take the pills she had bought, brought. Star, meanwhile, had used her wand to make flowers and boxes of chocolates appear all over the room. People brought me presents when I was sick, she said. Does it help? She looked at him so hopefully. Marco couldn't help but, lie, but nod. Sure, Star. Oh, how sweet, Miss Diaz cooed. Mom, Marco shouted, suddenly feeling very hot. All right, all right, I'm going. I'm sure Star will take excellent care of you. Mom! As a matter of fact, Star left his room shortly after his mother, but not before sternly commanding him to rest and drink lots of water. But the fact was, with his head and throat aching, and his stomach still twisting occasionally, he couldn't sleep. He lay awake, staying at the ceiling, until Star poked her head into his room. Marco! Her eyes widened in surprise. And wait, was she... blushing? You're still awake. Why are you still awake? You're supposed to be sleeping. Marco's fever-addled brain had simply stuttered to a halt. He was almost sure 
But it couldn't have been. He must have been seeing things. All the same, was she checking up on him? He cast the thoughts aside for now. He was too tired to think. Instead, he found himself muttering, couldn't sleep. Star came slowly into the room, saying, Whenever I couldn't sleep, Father used to tell me stories. She gave him a questioning look. Why not, he nodded. With a grin, the princess plopped herself into his desk chair, rolled it closer to his bed, thought for a moment, and then began. Once upon a time, in the land of Muni, there was a princess who liked to fight monsters. One day... Marco grinned back as his friend continued, already feeling more relaxed. A ray of sunshine in human form had been the one to banish his little rain cloud. Never mind that she was the one to put it there. No doubt she would help get rid of the after effects too. Marco sigh started slightly. Why did he keep thinking things like that? Probably just a favor, his mind repeated. He relaxed once more, eyes drifting closed. Yep, that had to be it. The end. The end. <sighs> Dare I look at chat? <laughs> Don't you see, man? <laughs> Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh my god, this chat. <sighs> Thank you again for the raid earlier, and there you go, everybody. 